hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> Boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here. Still the voice of hardcore boxing. <laughs> I'm just uh, on my way home now. Uh, it's not a very nice day today, is it? It's uh, very poor weather. Uh, is that better? No, it's not bad. It's sunny though in some parts. The 2020 Olympics, they're only uh, they're only a few months away aren't they? I wonder who's going to get the pick of them. Who's going to get the pick of the Olympians? Well, we're going to see aren't we? But, it sounds like a broken record going on about this but this will be the third Olympics 2012, 2016 and the 2020. We all know the class of 2012 were. We all, we all know the class of 2016 and the 2021. Who's going to get the pick of the cream of the crop? Well, when you've got McCracken there, the director of the EIS, good trainer. But he's the man up there for the boxing. When he's training Joshua up there, they're going to know who to pick. I mean, Joshua's already managing fighters that were up there. He manages Lawrence Acoli, the 2000 and an Olympian, 2016 Olympian. And he manages Joshua Boatze, a 2016 Olympian. Both of them fighters are managed by Joshua promoted by Eddie John Hearn, Edward John Hearn. I'm not saying that that's a conflict of in interest but that's as easy as it does but this is how I look at it. Joshua Boatsy doesn't sell a ticket, he may be a world-class fighter, he doesn't sell a ticket and I won't open my curtains to watch Lawrence Acoli if he were in my front room. But what he does is effective. But could you imagine Lawrence Acoli on headline in a show with Kid Gallard underneath him? You'd, you'd do all your conkers on that show, wouldn't you? So, I don't know what to make of it all. Anthony Fowler, 2016 Olympics. He got in, he didn't get in through the back door, he got in through cat flap. As Fitzy said, Scott Fitzgerald, who smoked him. I beat him up points, but dropped him in 12. Now, point I'm trying to make is this. Is it a conflict of interest? The EIS over here, just going by it now. The EIS over there, with McCracken there, Joshua's trainer, where Joshua trains, and he's not an amateur. And who's doing anything about it? Who's mentioning it? Is anybody mentioning it? Is Coogan Cassius mentioning to Eddie Hearn about the EIS conveyor belt? Now if you're getting the pick every four years of the new fighters coming through, now they're from the GB team, and all the other ones who nearly get in the Olympics, but they just don't quite make it like Callum Smith, if you're getting the pick of them, you've got it sewn up, haven't you? It don't matter if you fail with a certain match because you've got, in another four years, you've got another batch coming through. Now, the Cole is ready for a world title and Boatsy will be ready in about... Well, I don't know what they're doing with him. Seems to be stalemate, doesn't it? Because he doesn't sell a ticket, he doesn't do numbers, does he? Nobody's interested in him, but he's a world-class fighter. Now... I just, I just think it's wrong, fundamentally wrong. Me and Dennis have spoke about it. Everybody in the boxing industry knows it's wrong. 
hoping nobody's going to say anything because they want to get on Sky. And I sound like a broken record coming out with it. Porky, you're a hater! You're bitter, you're jealous! You're a hater! Never been a hater in my life. I'm happy with what I've done in my life. I've got no regrets. No regrets. Not even serving over a 10 stretch over a 12 year period. No. Character building. Prison is character building. And anybody who's done prison, they've got my respect. As long as they're not a wrong one, they've got my respect. Because to get through it, don't forget it ain't just you in prison, is it? It's all your family as well, their lives are turned upside down. So to get through it shows character. And I think it makes you fearless. So I, that's what I feel. I'm not really bothered about anybody, me. You go through that, you go through anything. Somebody said to me the other day, Oh, are you going to cope with, uh, with this, with your channel or that? What are you going to ask us? You know, I said to mate, I'm not being funny, but... Wrong lane here, Russ. Sorry, mate. I'm not being funny, but I've been in bigger, bigger pickles than than a computer issue with my channel. You know, I've been in bigger pickles than that in my life. God, character building. Prison builds character. All right, you find out about yourself. I speak to my mates about it, and some of them have not done any shovel. And they say to me, uh, shovel, I got that, got that saying off then. So they say to me, oh, I couldn't do it, I couldn't do it. I say, why couldn't you? When we came to see you, we had to strip off and squat on a mirror. I said, yeah, well, that, what, that's what happens. You know, if, it's a lottery, isn't it, if you're going to have to do that when you come to visit somebody. Now it's even worse now, isn't it? Yeah, well, I couldn't do that. I said, well, how do you think I'd go on when I'm going from one wing to next? You've got to go from three different parts of jail to get to visit. How do you think I feel? Cheers, mate. I think that was my fault as well. How do you think I feel? I mean, to go from one end of Nick to other, I used to say to him, but, oh, I couldn't do it, Porky, I couldn't do it. I said, well, listen, mate, you have to do it. You'll cling on to something when you're in there. So it's character building, but anyway, enough, enough talk about it, JL. Enough talk of it. I'm ready for some. Do we a break? Do we a break from nagging people? People nagging me. I've got an issue with my phone at the moment. I've just been told that you've got if you've got a phone and it's not a, a trendy one or something, you've got to go get a new phone, otherwise your WhatsApp don't work. So everybody trying to get in touch with me on WhatsApp. It's not going to work at the moment. It's not going to work. But I've just had Mickey took out me by Michelle in Dennis's office about me new jeans and she's putting my picture up next to Michael Jackson's red leather jacket. Picture of me in a red leather and Michael Jackson in one. Oh my god. I don't know. What can you do? What can you do? It's all good stuff in it. It's all good stuff. But the 2020 Olympics, is Eddie Hearn going to get his third pick of all them guys at the Olympics? Is he going to get, is he going to get the first pick for the third time? Of course he's going to do, because for the last four years all he's been doing is going up there. He's up there six, eight times a year, sniffing about. McCracken will be telling him he's good, he's ready to turn pro, he's ready to turn pro. I'm not saying that McCracken's getting a get backhander, but if you've got a trainer or somebody who's in charge at all set up and you're a young kid and these people are in your ear constantly on a daily basis and you've got people like McCracken and Joshua who trains up there in your ear all Joshua offering to manage you and McCracken saying go ahead Eddie Hearn because McCracken don't get on with Frank Warren does he? If you've got that how can it be a level playing field? People talk about fair play we all want fair play we all know what happened when Tyson Fury went to Germany, Germany and his dad were ranting and raving screaming and shouting 
running and raving, screaming and shouting about the ring canvas. And what did they say? We want a level playing field and it's not fair play. Well, how can that be fair play? The EIS, the English Institute of Sport, how can that be fair play? It can't, can it? It's not fair play. It's not fair play at all. It's not fair play at all. And I'm not happy with it. I am not happy with it. One iota. Uh-uh. I got that word from my dad, because when I were naughty as a kid, there always used to be a meeting at home. There'd always be a meeting. When I'd come home from school, uh, my mum would say, uh, you need to come downstairs and that. We need a meeting. Meetings. I'm always in meetings. I've been in meetings since I was five. And we'd have a team meeting at our dinner table. My dad would be there in his pit vest. With arms folded like that. Just looked like he's going to explode. And my mum would be there with arms folded like that. My mum would present the case. And I'd go not guilty. And I'd end up with a crack. And my dad would end up saying, I'm not happy with this, one iota, not me, I'm not happy with it, not Melvin, I'm not happy with it. And that's what had happened, one iota, well, I'm not happy with that one iota, the 2020 Olympics, with that snide Eddie Hearn, going to get all the picks and all the juicy ones, and all what's left is for Dennis, Frank Warren and all the rest of them to pitch. I mean, I remember a time when the 2008 Olympians went to Beijing, Dennis got on playing with Jamie McDonnell, taking him out there, and he bought all Olympians a tag watch. And none of them signed with him. Although he nearly got Billy Joe and Frankie Gavin. Uh, they were the main ones that he wanted. But De Gale ended up coming back with a gold, didn't he? But they all got a watch and they all went with Frank Warren. Now, Eddie Hearns got it on lockdown up there. McCracken's training the main man. The Golden Goose, Joshua, training there using facilities. And all them want to get on Joshua's undercard. If I'm 18 year old and I'm in GB team, and I'm going to go to Olympics and turn pro, I want to go on Joshua's undercard. I want to be on Sky. So it's all done for him, innit? So, the EIS, give Eddie Earn the conveyor belt of fighters, Sky give him the platform, Coogan Cassius spreads the word, and the job's done. Don't tell me he's the best promoter in the world. Obviously he's not bad, but it's done for him. A blind man could do the job. So don't tell me. Don't tell me about fair play. Because that is not fair play at all all at all it just isn't fair play it's just not fair play at all it just isn't it's not right it's not right and i've got a problem with it it's all right i've got a problem with it Fucking right man got a problem with it we're gonna have fair play that's all we want a bit of fair play i don't think it's a lot to ask I don't think it's a lot to ask at all. So, just how I feel, I feel very strongly about that. I feel very, very, very strongly about it. I'm gonna get some fuel on her. Look at this here. Fucking hot, fucking hot, fucking hot. Another full tank. Another one bites the dust. It's funny, isn't it? <laughs> you get your credit card paid and you think, oh, do you know what? I've paid my credit card. Before you know where you are. What's that, 120? 124.8, get in there. You get there quick before they put it up. Hey, they're building a McDonald's in Denneby in Doncaster. Wow! That's the big news in Denneby. That's the big chat today. What, I forgot what side my tank's on. I think it's this one here. Have a look, yeah, it's this one. Have a look. Oh, 
Look at that, there's no room. That's where I'm going to go there. Have a look. Ah, oh, look at that, I should have gone in there, I didn't see that, did I? He's nipped in before me, hasn't he? I'm going to rape pigs here of it, Anna. I'm going to be here all day now. What's he doing in there? Oh, I don't think you can reverse here. Yeah, so I just, I, I, I'm not happy with it. I just don't think it's fair play at all. Uh, and something needs to be done about it. Something needs to be done. But it is what it is, isn't it? I suppose it is what it is. It is what it isn't. But now I'm not happy with it at all. Not happy at all. I'm gonna pull here, and I. Well, I hope these people are not paying at the mach at the, oh, they're going inside. Let's have a look. Now, I just want to see fair play. Don't think it's a lot to ask. Ready for a service in another 400 mile. More money, old art. Jesus, need to get moving with this channel, don't we? Otherwise, I'm going to be on breadline. Otherwise, I'm going to be on beetroot soup. Otherwise, I'm going to be like Adrian Broner. <laughs> uh, but, uh, <laughs> all right, yeah. I like being stared at me, I've got a problem with it. Right, let's see if I can do this now. So. I don't know what this woman's doing in front of me, she's been here ages. Ages. No, I'm not happy with EIS, English Institute of Sport. I'm not happy with it at all. Come on then. No, I'm not happy with it at all. I'm not happy with stuck behind a 54 plate then I'll clear as well. What are you doing, love? Cheers, love. I'm waiting behind you all day. Dear all day. You know what? I'm going to go see my pal now. Yeah, so I'm not happy with that. 2020 Olympics, I want to see it shared out, but what are your thoughts on that? All you boxing fans out there, always send me as many emails as you can. I want you to leave as many comments. I want you to like and subscribe or dislike. It doesn't really matter, does it? Like or subscribe, it doesn't matter. You're viewing it, aren't you? You're watching it. Just leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the 2020 Olympics and should it be shared out a little bit better what do you think what do you what do you the fans think what do you really think about it all that's all i, I think that i think that's uh, a reasonable question i think it's a reasonable question 
what do you think what do you think about it that's all so all right I just I just, I just want it to be fair uh, I have my queue I could come for a game of snooker up here I just want it to be fair I just don't want it to be a monopoly whereas every Olympics you know he's signing four people five people from GB team every Olympics and uh, and the ones that are you know not that good who've squeaked into team through cat flap they're the ones that uh, you know, not everybody else ends up with. Do you know what I mean? He didn't sign Scott Fitzgerald, did he? And he, he, he beat Anthony Fowler, but he didn't go to Olympics, did he, like Fowler? But he doesn't mean to say that you're a better fighter because you beat Olympics. Froch, Calzaghi and Ricky Atten, Nazim Ahmed, all them four there didn't go to Olympics. Look what they did. Nazim Ahmed, nine wins over world champions. Froch and Calzaghi, ten each. Rock 10 plus Dero. No, oh, Calzaghi 11. 11. Calzaghi 11 wins over world champions. If you count Peter Manfredo. But 8 is a super middle. But he's got 11, Calzaghi. Atten. 9. Uh, 8, sorry. Nazim. 9. Ricky Atten, 8. So, them guys never went to Olympics. Never went to the Olympics. So, but they still did well in their careers and they probably had that hunger. Maybe Olympics takes that hunger out, yeah, who knows? Did that Audley Harrison, didn't it? He never had no arsehole, didn't he, Audley Harrison, when he fought. Audley Harrison's debut, his debut against a Dossa, well, you can't say Dossa because he's a boxer, against a knockover, he turned up in a limousine. Limousine on his debut, he was like Pop Idol, he was like winning Pop Idol in reverse, wasn't it, Audley? So, I'm going to call and see my mate, I'm not seeing him for a bit. See what's what. No fucking road works. But, uh, yeah. So, alright. Have a look, let me get on here. Park here. My mate's got a caravan, look. <laughs> Before you say anything, I've never been in that caravan after the pub in my life. Not like that. It's got an house here, why do you need to go in the caravan? <laughs> so, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. It's a fantastic sport. Shout out to Innovation Alloys. And... SYPS. Let's put this here. Oh, hi there. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Right. First of all. I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing, it means a lot to me uh, because we're on this journey together aren't we? So anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me, porkycorner at mail.com Alright, shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging, alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>